on the first night of Christmas, Matt reviewed for you the Dead Rabbit Irish Whiskey. What's up, everyone? That was kind of corny, cheesy. I get it, but I don't care. It's that time of year again. Uh, it's my second go around for the 12 Drams of Christmas. Uh, so year number two of doing this, where I review a uh, one Irish whiskey every night. Uh, 12 nights leading up to Christmas. So tonight's Wednesday the 13th, so here we go. I'm going to start you off with, as you guessed it, the Dead Rabbit. It's a blended Irish whiskey. Um, this is from the Dublin Liberties Distillery, which is in uh, Dublin, you guessed it. Uh, this one bottled at 40, 44%, 44%. Um, it's a five-year blend of single grain and, I mean, uh, sorry, grain and malt whiskeys. Um, this one's kind of cool because it was named, um, it was created for um, the Dead Rabbit Grocery and Grog Bar, basically in New York City, which is home to the largest collection of Irish whiskey in North America. So this one was created just as a homage to the Dead Rabbit in New York City. Um, one day I'll get to go there, hopefully, to see all its glory and what it has in store for me. Um, so this one was aged a minimum of five years in ex-bourbon casks, um, and then was finished in half-size uh, virgin American oak casks. Um, so let's see what this one has to offer. As you can see on this one, now, I really haven't drank a lot. Most of this bottle was from my friends. I bought this to a gathering um, most of my friends are bourbon drinkers, a couple of scotch drinkers, but I bought this to a gathering. Um, I've only had a couple of drams out of this whole bottle, um, so I don't remember what the heck it was like. Um, I do remember I got it in the low 40s. It was in that 42 to 44 dollar range. Um, I like this one because it's got that little inset on it on the top there of the uh, upside down rabbit with the red eyes, dead rabbit. So it's a pretty vibrant nose. Um, a lot of caramel, uh, a lot of new wood. I like to say like sawn wood, like when you cut a piece of wood and you get that sawdust aroma in the air. That's what kind of what I get out of this. A little vanilla. Sláinte. Palette's pretty good. Uh, some spice, some some oakiness and some spice on the tongue. It's like I'm getting some tannins in there too. It's weird. Some vanilla. And that spice, it's not like a, it's not spicy spice. It's kind of like just a hint of some baking spices. Not much. Uh, tiny tiny bit of like clove oil maybe um the finish is nice it's a great transition from the palate um it's moderate it's not doesn't feel lengthy or anything but that spice is there um a little toasted oak but what i'm getting as i'm sitting here talking something i didn't get on the nose of the palate is, is some black pepper um Kind of like floating around there in the mouth as that finish fades away. That's really nice. It's a nice dram. Um, I will buy another bottle of this so I can enjoy it. Um, like I said, most of this was from my friends, not from me. Uh, low 40s. Um, I think this is worth it. Um, you get your typical bourbon notes out of this. Uh, again, that little black pepper. I, I like that on the back end of that finish. I like the black pepper. Um, but overall, your caramel, your vanilla, uh, your oak. So it's a pretty good dram. I really like this one. Um, so I'm about a four and a half minutes into this, so I'll cut it short. First night, I'll be do, doing another one tomorrow. Um, do a uh, hide number five. It's a single grain, so I'll preview that one. I'll review that one tomorrow. But other than that, it's Matt signing off, saying have a good night, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.